Here is how you control someone's phone screen on your iPhone. So the iPhone on the left is being controlled by the iPhone on the right. You can see I can swipe, you know, I can tap into stuff. You know, I can fully control the iPhone remotely. But first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. So in order to do this, the first step is on both devices, you need to have added the contact for the person you want to use the screen share with. You also need to make sure both devices are running the iOS 18.0 or newer. Then we need to start a FaceTime call. So I'll open the FaceTime app and you can start a call from whatever device. Once in the call, we need to start the screen share. So this is the iPhone where I want to share my screen and allow this iPhone to control it. So we'll tap the share on the iPhone we want to share the screen for, and then we'll select share my screen. It will give you a countdown and the video isn't done yet. So on the iPhone you want to control the screen from, we will see the screen preview and we can tap on it to view it. And I'll swipe that across. And so you want to go to the home screen on the iPhone you want to control. And now we can see the home screen. But at the moment we can draw stuff. You need to have both contacts added to be able to draw. So I can draw and it's showing on the other iPhone. And you know, uh, you can draw. Now this is the button which allows you to control the screen. So if we tap that one, the reason why I've made you watch the video longer is because you may have the remote request decline error. This happens if you just freshly added the contacts. So in order to fix this, you can fix it immediately. Just hang up the FaceTime call. Then on the iPhone where you want to share your uh, screen and allow the full control, you go to settings, general, and then you go to the date and time. And we're going to turn off the automatic date and time. And we're going to push the date one day forward. And then once we've done that, we're going to do the FaceTime call again. And I had to restart the iPhone on the left because it wouldn't connect to the FaceTime after changing the time. But now when we request the full access, you see a remote control. And then we'll just tap on allow. And now it's going to fully share the screen. So I can you know, swipe across. Move that to the side, move this to the side. And I'm fully controlling my iPhone on the left using my iPhone on the right. You can also tap the, you know, the plus to go to full screen mode. And yeah, we can zoom out again. Boom, just like this. You can even do the swipe navigation gestures. Everything is here. And you can either tap this icon to stop the remote control or tap the stop here. So I hope this video helps.